Hello, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Volvo Christian, and welcome back to the Volkswagen ID bus. So I'm currently on a road trip uh, with the ID bus, heading from uh, Oslo towards Beitostøl, but I'm uh, bailing out here at Fagernes. The time is running super fast and it's getting dark, so I have to plan my way home again. I picked up this car yesterday from Müller Beer at Jessheim. So a huge thanks to them. I picked it up to get to know uh, the Volkswagen brand and uh, the ID bus because I'm super excited about the bus and also Volkswagen's future lineup. And then particularly the space vision that I saw at the e-car expo. So I'm super uh, amazed. I'm buzzing with excitement. <laughs> uh, I was actually just gonna make a. I was just planning to make a road trip video and also a um, range test and charging test. But I thought this car was just too good. So I wanted to make um, a quick exterior and interior presentation as well. And that's today's topic and video all about. So let's start with the exterior. We can start with the front light bar. I haven't figured out how to keep uh, the light bar on, so I have to have the key fob with me. I'm usually not a fan of these light bars running across, but here it kind of rocks out. Oh, what do you think? Well, I'm not sure, but it kind of works. I have a quite interesting uh, lower front part. Huge Volkswagen badge. There's no frunk on the ID bus, so there's no point opening that one. And in this one, this one is in uh, mono silver. Yeah, mono silver. So with a single uh, paint option. Usually I've just seen this in the two uh, tone uh, paint options, like the yellow and orange with the white roof line. Let's see if we can get on the lights. No, I'm not so familiar with this light system yet. Where do we have to push? Was it there? No. Come on. Usually I've just been pushing here. Ah, oh, maybe now. Yeah. Slightly slow to respond, maybe. Let's see if we can get some lights now. ID lights. So, as I said, I've usually just seen this in a two uh, paint option. Uh, pretty happy uh, car that puts a smile on my face. But I think I prefer it in uh, the single paint option. I will probably go for the dark blue option, that looks pretty darn good. This test car are running on 20 inch alloys. And we have some electric uh, sliding doors. Interesting design elements here. And also we have the rear three quarters here. Oh, looks pretty good, iconic boxy shape. A modern uh, interpretation of the T1, all electric. I think this looks really good. Right now, for the launch edition, they are only available in this uh, short wheelbase, and all of them are rear wheel drive. There's a 82 kilowatt hours battery uh, between uh, the axles here, and it's a 205 horsepower engine that's powering the rear axle, so only rear wheel drive. And that has turned out to be a little challenge on, on snow. Um, so I would much rather have an all wheel drive version. But luckily that's coming, and it's also coming a long wheelbase version. But that's like probably late uh, 2023, where we'll see a long wheelbase and also the all wheel drive option. And I've also heard rumors about the bigger battery, up to 100 kilowatt. But for now, it is just this version, and in two different uh, options. The passenger version, 5-seater, 
and then the cargo version. The cargo version has a partition wall just behind uh, the front seats, and there's no win oh, there's no windows on the side. So cargo and passenger, and I think the um, extended wheelbase version will have seven seats, uh, at least six or seven seats. Let's see. But I'm super excited about the bus. So maybe at some point I have to uh, order one for myself because this is a uh, super amazed by the bus. It looks so good from every angle, iconic shape. And in my head I'm just visualizing how this will look if you give it to some uh, people that likes to customize their cars. Just picture this lowered, maybe put on some wicked 21 or 22 inch alloys, crazy paint option, maybe some roof racks, either a ski guard roof box, mountain bikes, or some uh, oh, some um, surfing equipment. This looks so good. But it's time to get in the car. My fingers are getting blue. So to round up the exterior, I'm super amazed. Looks so good. Iconic shape. And if we open up the side door here, it's crazy cold. And let's see. One thing I noticed right from the start is when they gave me the key fob. Just have to find it again. So here's the Volkswagen key fob. And I also got the key fob, key fob from the Porsche too. You see this plastic, fantastic. I'm not amazed by this Toys R Us uh, key fob. The Volkswagen key fob are also like plastic, but it feels much better, much more premium. You see here, it's gloss, high gloss, but it looks and feels much better than this cheap Toys R Us key fob from uh, Polestar. We also have some uh, nice features with the uh, electric powered side doors. I'll just close these two up and jump in for some heat. Uh, let's see. If we start with the door insert, you can also see there's a pretty, pretty. Let's see if the camera will focus. A pretty high climb up. The ground clearance are 15 centimeters. Maybe I forgot to put in uh, the exterior dimensions. It's like four meters and 70 centimeters, if I'm not mistaken. So that's slightly shorter than uh, Volvo's V60. That's 478, but this is. I think this was 471. I will put in uh, the measurements on top here. But you see there's a pretty climb up to uh, the passenger seat. So let's start with the door inserts. We have a good storage uh, space here in the lower part. We have some food. We have a rubberized mat on this shelf here, all the way, you can actually go pretty long in. Uh, this is the for the trunk door, plastic uh, door release. But overall, it's a pretty uh, good material. And here we have the front seat. I actually had this armrest all the way down while I was driving. I love the driving position you got. So relaxing with the two armrests. <laughs> Actually very good. The seat itself are uh, quite decent. Uh, they are equivalent to Polestar 2 and Volvo's uh, XC40, C40. I wish it uh, had adjustable side bolsters, but the cushion itself are yeah, decent enough. Uh, comfortable, but not, uh, nothing amazing. Here we have the seat uh, adjustment. We also have a button here to activate the massage function. And the massage are only for the center part here. Let's jump in. 
or climbing, as I should say. Let's start it up. Turn on the music, take on some lights. Let's see if I can do this. So I have to apologize if this video aren't um, maybe uh, slightly messy or not in order, but this is just a spontaneous Spontaneous video. What is happening here? Welcome. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Why did it shut off? Outside temperature minus 13 degrees. Okay. Let's see if I can get some lights on again. So the interior, as you see, are quite spacious. Very practical with a lot of storage possibilities. We have a little shelf here with some candy we have a little glove compartment or a yeah, decent amount of space and this one cup holder are folded away like this but I had it open we have a let's see if I can get around this uh, here here we have the charging um, USB there's a pretty deep shelf here or compartment one moment please okay i didn't please ask. repeat i didn't ask for something but okay <laughs> uh pretty deep uh, pocket here you can put your smartphone while it's on um, charging and we have some light adjustment and also a little shelf here and if we take away this one you can also see the center part here. This one can be actually be moved all completely, but uh, pretty good with this additional storage. We got a cup under here. If we pull this, let's see. How was this? Okay, I have to figure this out. Yeah, there we have it. Pretty big um, space here. Some tissues and such. This just slides under. And on the front side, if we fold away this one, we also have a pocket here, big enough to put in a can. So that's pretty big. Tuck that away, open up this one. So pretty practical. The infotainment, uh, it's not the best, far from it, but it's not the worst either. I was really uh, excited to uh, test this um, Volkswagen infotainment out. It has gotten um, not so many good reviews, but it's, it actually works pretty good. Uh, here's the start menu, and all of these tiles can be, let's see if I can do this. Oh, if I just hold this one, you can uh, shift these tiles out with other things that you want as a favorite button. So that's quite good. Um, See my state of charge are now down to 29%. But it's not too bad, this infotainment. Sometimes it's really laggy. Let's see if we can get into the navigation. Sometimes it's really laggy, but overall it's quite good. And you also have some sliding here to adjust this uh, brightness on the displays. And that one I like quick button maybe Polestar should have learned from this Polestar and Volvo you see how easy it was just slide and you have access here so overall this is yeah, decent uh, enough the voice command are pretty shitty but um, other than that this is works uh, like a charm for me I'm not amazed by uh, the stereo um, so that's um, one thing I'm not amazed by not not good at all. Uh, I wish I could upgrade it. Maybe there's a package or a stereo option above this one. I don't know, but this is just not good enough. But there's one thing that has bugged me m very much, um, and that's this useless um, button here on the steering wheel. Let's see if we can put it in drive. Uh, and I have to go into this one. Let's press. Uh, radio and turn down the volumes Okay, like this um, 
and this is super annoying. It's like learning how to uh, drive again. If you want to increase the volume, or say, say it in another uh, way, if I want to take the volume up or higher, you usually press upwards. You want the music up, press up. But if you press up, you just change your song or your channel. What the heck is this thing? If you want to increase the volume, you have to press to the side. Uh, up uh, to the right and down to the left. Instead of the normal one, if you want to change your channel or change your song, if you want to go to the next song, you, play for, uh, you press something forward, like this one. But that's it's completely opposite. Talk about pissing me off. Who the hell thought that this was a good idea at Volkswagen? This is the completely opposite of everything else. It's like learning to say that this is your left hand. My left hand is just... Oh, it's so, so annoying. But that's the, actually the worst part with the whole ID bus experience so far. And the stereo being the second worst thing. Because I, uh, I love listening to music. But the driving sensation and the comfort, maybe that's the, um, the third thing I'm not a fan of. I wish it was slightly uh, more damped and um, forgiving suspension, but that's probably due to the 20 inch alloys. I wish it had like uh, 19 inch for uh, increased comfort. So that's the th three things I'm not a fan of. But there's much more that I like than what I dislike. Just jump in in the rear while I close the door again. Let's see if I can do this. There's also a button here to close the door. And yeah, a grab handle here. Maybe manual release. So let's jump on over here. You see. The floor are completely flat. This is an all-electric platform, the MEB. It's actually quite cold uh, back here. Not sure why. Uh, so here we have a little pocket where you can put your phone or something. We have a tray that it fold upwards. Let's see. Do this without break breaking it. Ooh, it's like an IQ test. Okay, there we have it. Uh, and this is actually the only cup holder we have. And it's gotten darker. Let's see if I can get some lights on again. This doesn't seem so st uh, steady to put uh, a can of coke on. Well, well. Uh, at least we have a tray and then more pockets here. And the door have also pretty decent amount of storage possibilities. Also with a USB. Not sure what this is. Um, but pretty decent amount of space. The seats can be... Uh, let's see if I can get out again. Okay, the buttons didn't work. I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Uh, maybe I have to use the key for There's much in and out in this video, I'm sorry about that. You see the, let's see if you can see this grab handle here. The seats can be uh, pulled forward. It's, an, it's a 60-40 split. You can also fold the seat back. Interesting. Interestingly enough, there's no uh, center armrest here. That's actually quite weird. Um, that the Volkswagen have uh, forgotten to include. There's no side armrest either. So it's just the armrest on the door. I think this would be even better if we had a panoramic roof. Maybe that will come in the extended version. I'm not sure. Let's uh, close this up again and open up. Let's see if I can do this. Open up the rear. And just look at this. Really spacious. This holds 1,200 liters. 
at least up to the top of the, the seat back but you will get more um, there's also a partition uh, wall in like um, a netting you can put up in the roof line here uh, if you want to load higher than the back rest this floor are optional uh, and you can also just remove it you see here that they have some boxes and things you can charging cables and such but if you take away this you will get even more space pretty spacious with the 12 volt socket probably what is this yeah 12 volt socket interesting uh, armrest thing maybe for the future uh, third row let's close it up let's see if i can do this no not that one that one There's also a possibility with a tow bar on the ID bus. You can pull up to 1000 kilos. And this car are really heavy. I weighed it at a um, station just by here. And it was, um, it ticked in at 2600 kilos. That's massive. And on snow with rear wheel drive, you get uh, quite interesting uh, driving, um, uh, uh, driving experience. So, for me, and for at least these conditions, it's all-wheel drive all the, all, all the way. So this is not an uh, option for me at, at least, because the rear-wheel drive, I'm not a fan of that. Um, I have been spinning quite much, um, especially yesterday. It was crazy much snow, and even uh, out of uh, roundabouts, intersections, which is getting a lot of wheel spin. Uh, I wouldn't say that this car is uh, underpowered with the 205 horsepower, but it's not fast. Uh, not fast by any means. Uh, it's decent. I would love that uh, the all-wheel drive version had two of these engines. Um, one in front and one in, uh, in, in the rear. Let's say like 400 horsepower. That would be pretty wicked um, in the ID bus. Like an ID bus R, a performance version. And I think this car has so much potential. There's so much you can do with this car. Lower it, or for the crazy stereo, uh, let's see if I can open it, stereo um, fanatics. Put in a wicked uh, stereo, so with a huge speakers here for your beach party. I would put a roof box on it, maybe a mountain bike. Uh, you can put a bed inside of here and just go camping. Just stop anywhere you want. Drive on a road trip, like this beautiful location here. Just stop, go b back in uh, in your trunk and uh, have a mattress um, and a sleeping kit. And just sleep where you want. This is a car for adventures. Either you go skiing or you go um, mountain bikes or some water sports uh, activities. This is a car for adventures and that's what's most appealing for me. I just see possibilities in new adventures, both the winter and summer. Roof box on top, a bed in the back. Oh, that would be pretty wicked to drive around in this one. Oh, but now it's getting crazy cold again, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed this video, even if it was uh, maybe kind of messy in and out. But I just had to make this quick video. But now I will drive down to um, the charging station. This thing can charge to up to 170 kilowatts. So I'm betting that's gonna go really fast. 29% and if you want to have a glance at the current consumption I see data oh, come Catch on. you later <laughs> Okay <laughs> Data, come on My um, current consumption, oh, let's see 31.7 So pretty high, but it's a van oh, Okay, so now I have to grab my drinks and get down to the charging station 
So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I really appreciate every like, comment, and if you also consider subscribing to my channel. So that's it for this time. I'll see you guys later. Take care and bye bye.